Hello everyone, Ghetto Sweater here, and I will be your new king. I am going to take our good kingdom and make it great. I am going to take these lands and make them flourish. I am going to bring happiness and peace to the people of this land, and we shall grow our kingdom into the greatest and most wonderful kingdom in existence. That's right, folks. We are going to be playing Sort the Court. This is a game that allows you to be the king of your own kingdom. And your goal is to make it so that you don't go broke and that people don't leave your good country. So we're going to be playing this. I've seen it played a couple times. It looks really fun. And I think you guys will like it. So we'll go ahead and get started here. And hopefully nothing bad happens because I'm sure putting me in charge and leaving me to make all the decisions will be probably the best option for me and for all of the people living in this kingdom. Ah, my royal advisor. It's good to see you. What do you have for me today? My lord, I'll help you rule your kingdom, but you have to make tough choices. Just say yes or no, understand? Yes. Good. You've already got the hang of it. Our city's still very small right now, but it certainly has the potential to grow. Perhaps one day we will have a bustling metropolis and you'll be invited to join the Council of Crowns. For now, all you need to concern yourself with is keeping the citizens happy and growing our population. Do your best, sir. I want to join the Council of Crowns. Mm -hmm. Sneaky girl. Want me to steal from the rich and give to you? Not just the rich, I'll steal from whoever, basically. I mean, that's not very nice. You should, probably should... What kind of king should I be, guys? Am I a tyrant who will rule with fear and take whatever I want in order to make things better for whoever I want? Or will I be a kind king who would never do things such as kill or steal? I... I'm sorry, I can't have you do that. Taking the high road, huh? I'll see you around. Yeah, thank you, bye. I appreciate it, but who are you? Georgie. Hey, now here's a deal for you, pal. Give me some of your people's happiness. I'll hook you up with some gold. Sound good? How much gold? I mean, is it just some of their happiness? Or is it some, some of the people's happiness specifically? And how many people? I have a lot of questions. I'll take a little money. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of money, but that was a lot of happiness. I'm sorry. I'll make you happy, I promise. My boat's too tiny to catch many fish. Can I have some gold to upgrade it? I'll pay you back, I swear. Hey, I just so happen to have some money. You won't regret this, you'll see. So as you can see, there are some decisions you can make where people will come back. And depending on the decisions you made before, it will have consequences in the future. So, which there's a bunch of goblins in the lower quarter. I'll slay them for a few gold coins if you want. Get rid of those goblins. Get them out of here. I'll show those creeps. Yeah, you show them. Get on out of here. Mm -hmm. Gossip is spreading about a heroic purple witch slaying goblins in the lower quarter. She's become something of a folk hero. Sweet. We didn't get any new people. We lost a little happiness, but we gained a little wealth. And people left. Oops. It's okay. Just day one. Nothing to worry about. Monsieur Mouton. Allo, sir. Are you looking for experienced barbers in your court? I need a haircut. Do you see my hair? Then I shall join you. I am the best of the best. Thank you, Monsieur. Oh, and are you a construction worker? A mason, named Mason. <laughs> I wish to construct a tavern, but I'll need some gold from you to make it happen. I'm talking a considerable amount of gold here, like a couple hundred at least. I I picked up gold, so you gotta spend money to make money. 
The townsfolk will be happy to have a place to drink. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I'm balancing this out too well. I've got a business proposition for you in your tiny little town. Are you interested? Yeah, what is it? What do you got? Aha, I will bring you details soon. Okay. What are you? Molder. Name's Molder. If you want to know the truth about everything, you're going to want to hire me. Sure. I like information. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go investigate something. Yeah, all right. Bring back the information. You're ju the all-seeing eye. It's just staring at me. Does it want something? Now, if somebody stares at you, they must want something. So it wants me to say yes, right? I, I'm going to say yes. Yeah. What just happened? I feel lucky. I do feel lucky. Mm -hmm. Gain some of my money back. How are we doing? People are sad. The city is shrinking. That's not good. We need people and happiness. LD34. H hello, I am serial number LD 3.4. Uh oh, c c c can you fix me? Yeah, I got you. That's expensive. Mm -hmm. Thanks, friend. I am become fixed. I love that. What are you? I would like some money, please. No, oh, go away. I don't have enough. Fine. I shall return another day. Okay. I just don't. I don't have enough money for that. We've captured some foes on the battlefield. Shall we bring them home and put them to work? Yes. We need all the people. Bring them. Thank you, Mr. General, sir. I'm a blacksmith and I'd like to set up a shop here. I can pay my own way. I just need your permission. Come on in. We love weapons and stuff. Haha, <laughs> yes. I shall show you my incredible skill. Just you wait. I believe in you, sir. Those dragon tattoos don't lie. Oh, no. Chester. <laughs> You ever see a treasure chest do a backflip? Mm -hmm. No. Well, you're not gonna. Ah. I wanted to see it do the backflip. I thought if I said no. Ah. Mm -hmm. Ahem. Might I get you a cup of tea for you, my liege? Yes, please. Aha, yes. Nice and hot, sire. Thank you. Butler. Keep butlering. Butler wherever you need to butler. Mm -mm. Yet, yet. Mom says I need to ask your permission to go on an adventure, so can I please, please? Yeah, go ahead, kiddo. You got your helmet on. You're good to go. Yeah, I'm so excited to go exploring. Get on out of here. Go explore the tavern or something. Oh, I wish to put on a show. May I have the funds to do so? People love the jester. That was expensive. I hope that makes people happy. You again? You interested in making a deal, bub? You people's souls in exchange for my gold. No. I'll get it you next time, buddy. No, you won't. You can't have people's souls. That's not nice. Would you like to purchase any swords for your guards? A well-protected city is a happy city. How much? That works. Cool. We have happy. I'll have a shipment of swords sent to your barracks. Thank you, blacksmith of the dragon tattoo. The jester show was loved by the court and put everybody into a happy mood. How lovely. Mm -mm. Day four, lots of happiness. People are happy. The city is growing. Cool. The population didn't move, but I spent some money. I'm definitely not making a lot of progress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Royal advisor. There's a very stinky kid running around the street. Should we force her to have a bath? Yeah, make her have a bath. She's dirt. She needs to take a bath. She won't be happy though. Well, she's got to take a bath. People aren't happy that there's a dirty child just running around. It's staring at me. I want it to want something. Thank you. I love this eye. It can come back as many times as it wants. Winston. Hey, uh, you think you could tell me to pe tell people to stop calling me Slimeball? It's hurting my feelings. Yeah, that's not nice. They shouldn't hurt your feelings. Thanks, boss! <laughs> Got you, homie. Don't even worry about it. Did you have fun? I'm back. I found these shiny yellow stones. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, they're cool. Good job. So cool. 
All right, what do we got? A nearby town has asked us to form an alliance with them. Should we use them to beef up our ranks? You know, I'm always good for uh, adding people to the town, so more swords for us. We help them, they help us. Look at that. People are happy, the city is growing. Now we're starting to make some progress. Monsoor Mouton is back. Citizens from far and wide come to visit my barber shop. Would you like a fresh cut, sir? Free of charge. Yes, please. Of course you do. You look dashing. Well, thank you. I just got a haircut. I hope you like it. I don't like to brag, but I've got a pretty good look going on, don't you think? The Sultan. A caravan of mine wishes to camp in your city for the next few days. Bring them on in. Let them hang on out. Quite agreeable. We shall work together again, I hope. Well, I hope that they want to stay after because we need more people. I'd like to build a new granary. This could help expand our population, but it'll cost you. I hope not a lot. Good, good, good. You got it. This will help grow our city. All right. So that means we have a granary so we can have a whole bunch of bread. That means we can have garlic bread. Sweet. Bonjour, my name is Madame Abel, and I've come to join your court. Will you have me? Sure, come on in. How sweet, I'm sure many wonderful adventures await us. I like your lollipop and your bumblebee dress. The wizard, I was just passing through and thought you might like some magic. Anything could happen, care to give it a try? Yeah, what do you got? Sweet, ooh, interesting, seems like it went well for you. I hope so. Were you planning on using some bad magic? The Sultan's caravan is resting in town. Our citizens have been trading with them. Produce a small amount of tax income. Taxes can help. People don't like them though. Cool. All right. So we gained a good amount of population, happiness, wealth. We're growing. We're getting there. Oh, it's a boo. Uh, <clears throat> you call this a castle? As a matter of fact, I do. Indeed it is. Trick question. Uh, it wasn't a trick. You asked me a question, and I answered it. The town we made an alliance with is in trouble. Should we send soldiers to assist them? Well, yeah, they helped us out. We gotta go hook them up. Of course, we promised we would protect them. And hopefully, they appreciate it. Citizens say a monkey has been running around flinging stuff at them. What kind of stuff? Should we put out a bounty on it? Uh, yeah. We should do something about that. We'll have that monkey captured in no time. I, please. No more stuff flinging animals. Mom says I need to ask your permission. Go, 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 have fun. You know what to do. You always find cool stuff when you go out. <gasps> it's the goblin killing witch. There's a bunch of goblins in the lower quarter. I'll slay them. Do it. Yes, show those creeps. The Sultan's caravan's still resting. We get those taxes. The witch has slain the goblins. Killing it. Mm -hmm. Gossip is spreading. Yes. Oh, well, we got... Okay, cool. So we got some happiness. So it seems like as long as you're gaining happiness, you'll gain population too. So that's kind of helpful. I saw a beautiful silver gauntlet in the blacksmith's today. May I have the funds to purchase it? Yeah, I guess. Ugh. Ah, yes, thank you, my lord. I shall use it in the defense of our proud kingdom. And proud it is. We are growing and people are happy. Are you feeling spooky today? A little spooky, scary skeletons. Yeah, I'm feeling spooky. Heck yeah, let the blood flow. Uh-oh. Did you just bite somebody? Meow. Looks like he wants somebody to pat his belly. Pat the kitty! Yes. Meow. Yes. I got to pet a kitty. I accidentally ate some folks out front. Can I just pay you back with gold? What do you mean? So you already ate them? I guess. Pay me back. Uh, thanks for understanding. Well, that's great. Hello, friend. Care to gaze into my magical vampire crystal? I don't know if I trust you anymore, but I guess I might as well take a peek. Nice. I see fame and fortune for you. Cool. Don't bite anybody else. 
They left town as a gesture of goodwill. They have left behind a small pouch of gold. Thank you. We're still gaining some happiness. People are coming in. Hey, now here's a deal for you, pal. Give me some of your people's happiness. I'll hook you up with some gold. No, that didn't work out last time. I'll get you next time. No, you won't because you've ruined our relationship. Got a business proposition for you in your tiny little town. Yes, what do you got for me? More details soon. Is that more another caravan? Bring them on in. Good day, sir. Do you require any haunting services? For a small price, I'll scare some people for you. No. Very well, very well. I'm sorry, I don't need it. Bunch of goblins, take care of them. Go get them. Yes. I love how that always works out. Hey, uh, good friend. I thought you might be interested in making a deal. A good, wholesome, friendly deal. Yeah, and Angel, such as myself, could offer you lots of happiness. It would cost you some gold, though. Mm. How about this? A few hundred gold for you, and I'll make sure your citizens are happy. No. Dang it. What's a guy got to do to make a deal around here? Just stop being you. Stop being a terrible garbage person or demon. Maybe you'll uh, come out on top eventually. Ooh, my city's growing. Mm -hmm. You call this a castle? I do. Working conditions for us are unsafe. Will you please spend some gold on improving our ability to work? Yeah, I got you, homie. Don't worry about it. I don't want anybody falling off and suing the castle. That's what you do back in castle times. You sue people, right? It's slime day. Got a present for me? What do you want? You want some money? Mm -mm. Yeah, you're so nice. And hopefully people aren't still making fun of you even though you're a giant slime. My lord, I wish to embark upon a treacherous... What? I wish to embark upon a treacherous quest. Yes, go for it. For the kingdom! I shall return to you, my lord. I love it. Go kingdom it up. I am truly sorry about earlier. My circuits were quite fried. I offer my thanks for your help. Yes? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Quite logical. Ooh, my money's starting to spread out a little bit. All right. We got people, money, and happiness. Let's keep this gravy train rolling. Oh, nice. Sir, the city's population is growing steadily. Our records of citizenship indicate that 250 people now call this city home. With a, bigger, with a bigger city, we'll need to maintain even higher happiness in order to keep people satisfied. Make sure you pay attention to the citizens and their issues to raise our happiness. Anyway, we still have a lot of work to do. Let's make this city even bigger. By the way, remember earlier when I mentioned this Council of Crowns? I've heard a rumor that one of their members has been searching the land for a new ruler to join them. Perhaps they are aware of our progress. Well, they should be, because we've over doubled our population. Pet the kitty. A chicken. <laughs> it's running wild. Should we try to capture it? Let's get it. Whoa, this thing is dangerous. Oops. I mean, I had to try and catch a chicken. My liege, there is a man in the foyer asking to join your guard. He's got an eye patch. Looks a little shifty. Well, I mean, why are you going to discriminate a guy with an eye patch? I mean, maybe he's a really good fighter. Maybe he just is used to fighting, and in one of his bouts, he ended up getting his eye taken out. Because that's a likely thing to happen when you're fighting with swords and stuff. So, I'll bring him on in. What do you think? Should we take a chance on this stranger? Yeah, bring him in. Come on. Indeed, more swords will help. Yes. That is a fact. An offer for you, friend. I would purchase a shipment of luxury goods for you for a fair price. Yes, please. Why? No, I thought... That's okay, I needed money. Hopefully, I have enough happiness so that everybody... The workers we captured and recruited have sped up our building process, resulting in more tax income. I hope I still have enough happiness to bring in people. I do. Good, good, good. Okay, so I could afford a little bit, but I don't think I should risk any more happiness. You haven't been talking to Molder, have you? Yes. Here, take this. I was never here, okay? You were never here. For 50 gold, I've never seen you in my life. 
I was just passing through and thought you might like some magic. Yes, give me the magic. Oh, yes. Like it went well for you. I love it. I have so much money. Hello, friend. Care to gaze into my magical ball? Yes, let's do it. Oh, I see fame and fortune for you. I'm a yes man. From now on, everything yes. My lord, I have returned. I am ashamed to inform you that I return with nothing. Shall I show myself to the dungeon? No, you, I mean, you're doing your part. From now on, everything, yes. Like, just do your best. Like, get out, go out again. I got you that gauntlet. Like, just go ahead and go do some exploring. You forgive me? Oh, kind and gracious lord, bless you. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, you know, I'm a kind king, what can I say? I love your owl, Miriam. Oh ho, what is this strange place I found myself in? Albert, do you know where we are? My oh my, hello you kingly person there. I do believe I'm a bit lost. Might I stay in this town for a while? Are you a time traveler? Oh, I love to I love new people. Come on in. How nice. Albert and I shall find an inn to stay at. I'm sure I will see you again. Albert seems to like you. You, you gotta trust an owl. Especially one named Albert, so nothing to worry about there. Look at all of the stuff I got today. Killing it. Almost up to 300 people. Want me to steal from the rich and give to you? No. I don't need you to steal. Stop stealing things. Or go steal from somewhere else. <laughs> Not our own people. That doesn't make any sense. It's nice to see you, sir. Do you like my new haircut? I love it. You look dashing. Ah, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Don't even worry about it. Go show yourself off to the town. People love to a pretty face to look at. The owners of the tavern are making piles of gold and wish to share some with you. Awesome. That's uh, because I'm such a great guy. People love to give me money. Are you the... Are you the monkey that was throwing poo? I'm pretty sure you are. He's got a shiny coin. Mm, is he trying to give it to me? Yes? Ook, ook, ook. Thank you, Peanut. Next send in butter. I've got a friend from witch school looking to move to town. Could I get a couple gold to help her move in? Somebody else to fight goblins? Send them. Let's do this. I love it. People are happy. The city is growing. Mm -hmm. Any mysteries afoot? I can do some snooping for a small fee if you're interested. I mean, I'm down for a good mystery. So go ahead. Go for it. All right, let me know what you find out. I'm sure there's something of interest. Some villagers are threatening to leave unless we pay them a sum of gold. Should we listen to their demands? I mean, they've been paying for stuff. I might as well hook them up with some money. I agree. We should do everything to keep them here. I don't want to be losing a bunch of people. <gasps> what are you? Petite Saurus. Squee, there's a mouse. Should we chase it away? No, he's just reading. He seems happy. Why would I chase a mouse that was just reading? Our soldiers are coming home and our assistance in defending our allies has not gone unnoticed. We have been offered a bounty of gold by the captain of their military, a good fellow. Well, I'm just glad we could help out and they helped us out, so just doing our part. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're 14 days in and I'd say we've made some good progress. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave this episode here. We're going to come back to our wonderful kingdom next time. And we're going to make sure that the people of our kingdom continue to be happy. Mm -hmm. We bring in as many people as we possibly can. And we keep making them muns, hun. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out of here for the day. And I will see you next time. Laters.